Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. We are in part 65 of Microsoft Certified Associate series. So far we have completed 109 questions in previous video. Today we are going to look into question number 110. You have an Azure subscription that contains storage accounts shown in following table. We have storage 1 which is storage general purpose v1 account and its performance is premium. Its replication is GRS or Geo Redundant Storage and XSTR is none. Second storage account is storage 2, storage v2 general purpose v2 account and it is a standard account and it is locally redundant storage account and its access tier is cool. Third storage account is storage 3 account which is storage general purpose v2 account and it's the premium account and having RAGRS or read access geo redundant storage replication with the port access tier. Storage 4 has blob storage and it is a standard performance account and having LRS or locally redundant storage and access tier is hot one. You need to identify which storage account can be converted to zone redundant storage or ZRS replication by requesting a live migration from Azure support. So basically live migration is a support request to Microsoft and it doesn't need any downtime for the migration. What should you identify? We need to see which account can be migrated using the live migration or Microsoft support request. Before that, let's understand the replication options available for the storage accounts. The first option we are going to discuss is called LRS or locally redundant storage that replicates the storage account three times within a single data center in the primary region. So this is the primary region mentioned here and this is our data center. So this box denotes our data center and it has three copy, copy one, copy two and copy three in storage cluster. Next one is zone redundant storage. So this was the one example here. Now second one is ZRS. It's called zone redundant storage. That replicates storage account synchronously across three Azure availability zones in the primary region. So we have primary region here. We have one availability zone, second availability zone and third availability zone. These availability zones are having different data centers in it and it maintains three copy, one copy in each availability zone. So the same like we were having in LRS, three copies in one data center instead of having in one data center, it is having one copy in different different three data centers. Third redundancy option is GRS. The full form of GRS is Geo Redundant Storage. GRS or Geo Redundant Storage copies data synchronously three times within a single physical location. So here if we can see this is the single physical locations and we do have three copies here in primary region using LRS. 
so three copies are created in primary region using LRS and then it copies then it replicates or copies synchronously to single physical location in secondary region and within the secondary region data is copied synchronously three times using LRS fourth redundancy option is GZRS geo zone redundant storage copies data synchronously across three azure availability zone which we have discussed here in the same diagram in primary region using zrs so in primary region we do have zrs then it copies the data asynchronously to single physical location in the secondary region within the secondary region data copies synchronously three times using lrs so in secondary region we do have three copies using lrs now with the grs or gzrs the data in the secondary region isn't available for read or write access unless there is a failover to the primary region for read access to secondary region we need to configure storage account to use read access geo redundant storage or ra dash grs or read access geo zone redundant storage let's go to um, microsoft documentation site to understand storage type and live migration support storage type and live migration support storage account types we do have standard general purpose v2 account which supports lrs which supports zrs means we can do the migration as well so support conversion from the portal we can convert it to zrs from the portal and we can support conversion by support request which is we call live migration so standard general purpose v2 account support live migration and definitely we can do manual migration as well second one is premium file share premium file shares support lrs it support zrs it doesn't support conversion or migration through the portal it does support only and only live migration means by support request to microsoft and supports manual migration as well then others they do not support live migration any of these so no point going through these all let's go back to question so from the live migration support table we got to understand that only standard general purpose v2 account is supported for the live migration this is the one account we do have and another one is premium file share account so that is the second one so these only and only these two account can be live migrated using the microsoft support therefore in our answer we have storage two account which is general purpose v2 account and standard account as well which can support the live migration and another premium file share account is not available in this table therefore option b is the correct answer i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching this video 
see you in next video